Litecoin to a thousand dollars in 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll be doing a very important video on Litecoin's future. So, I'll be looking at Litecoin going forward from a fundamental point of view. I'll mainly be talking about fungibility. So, Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin, has talked about the importance of fungibility. And also, guys, I'll be looking at some news that's been coming up with Litecoin and how it may affect the price. So I'm mainly known for my technical analysis, but I did want to make this Litecoin longer term video on what Litecoin may achieve in the future. And also from a technical analysis point of view, I'll do technical analysis and my price prediction at the end of the video. I do think Litecoin is coming into a zone where you could be uh, where Litecoin is looking very interesting. You shouldn't buy coins that go up two, three hundred percent. That's a good way of losing quick money. If you guys remember, I made a video. Litecoin has been my most profitable trade in 2019 cryptocurrency trade. I was looking to I bought Litecoin here, guys. I made a video Litecoin going up to 50 and 100 dollars, and I made that video at 100 dollars when I said, you know, Litecoin could be able to sell the news event and it dropped 73 percent we've seen that happen previously and it happened again so it is coming into an interesting zone i'll talk about that at the end but let's have a look at what litecoin actually doing from a fundamental point of view so from a news point of view there's not really some not really much news for substance there's mainly some price predictions and what's been going on but it doesn't re really seem that interesting from my point of view uh, there are a couple of negative news from litecoin uh, recently that's come out with uh, some Litecoin developers leaving the company. Charlie Lee has tried to defend that. So that's a recent negative news for Litecoin. And another news have been the the update of Mimblewimble. Um, the proposal for fungibility and privacy has got some coding issues. I can't really comment on it because I'm not a cryptographer, but from what I've read, looks like there are some issues with it. Um, there are some negative news and you guys know my feelings on Litecoin. I used to be a huge fan back in 2017. Since then with the Litepay issues, Charlie Lee selling his Litecoin at the top. I've not really supported it as much longer longer term. I'm, I'm, I'm massively just a Bitcoin fan, a Bitcoin fan and not a huge Litecoin fan. But what they're trying to do, especially with fungibility, is interesting. If you're interested in cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and money and decentralization, this is something you need to keep an eye out for, which is what I'm going to share in this video. I'm going to explain to you what fungibility is and some of the challenges Litecoin is trying to solve. And if they can solve it, it can have some crazy gains going down the going in the future. Future, which I have you know made a crazy claim about thousand dollars or or beyond wherever Litecoin can go but they need to be delivering that am I just buying and hodling uh, no but I'm gonna explain to you exactly what I'm looking to buy and sell and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button you get an update on where I'm looking to buy so anyways guys let's go into the video now so I've talked about what the, some of the nice, recent news with Litecoin let's go into the longer term stuff so Charlie Lee the creator of Litecoin has come up with this at the start of the year he talked about fungibility is the only property of sound money that is missing from bitcoin and litecoin now that the scaling debate is behind us the next battleground will be fungibility and privacy i'm now focused on making litecoin more fungible by adding confidential transactions so there's a debate of fungibility and privacy they're very similar which i shared before with what mimblewimble is trying to achieve it's similar to what Monero is doing. That's why I do like Monero and it's important to, I mean, I'll be making a top 10 videos for 2020. I'll release it maybe 1st of January and uh, it's important to have a balanced portfolio. That's why I'll talk about, you know, privacy coins, bit, obviously Bitcoin, some uh, platform coins, some other coins I'll share with you, few, some utility coins. It's important to have a good variety of investments. So if, what is fungibility? Is the property of a good or commodity whose individual units are essentially interchangeable and each of its parts is in indistinct let me get my words out indistinguishable from another i still wasn't able to pronounce it but you, you get my point guys what they're saying is a 50 dollar you know a hundred dollar you can spread it into 50 dollars at 250 dollars or a 50 dollar is the same as another 50 dollars if you're thinking about Litecoin, you can go back and find out who's owned the Litecoin. So, you know, it doesn't matter to you if a $50 has been owned by Pablo Escobar, you'd still use a $50 as a $50. With Litecoin, you can find out where it's gone. Does it affect you? Can you pay a bit more or less? That is a really important um 
th uh, really important aspect of sound money that Bitcoin and Litecoin hasn't got. So why do I? Why am I interested in Litecoin, guys? One thing is, I mean, even <laughs> like I've shared with you that I'm not a huge fan of Litecoin, especially with some some of the stuff that's gone on. And uh, I mean, you, you you'll enjoy my top ten videos for 2020. And um, I might not include Litecoin in that. And the reason would be like i said charlie selling it and uh, the light pay drama but also guys but litecoin there are some positives to it litecoin is the silver to bitcoin being the gold and there are been times when you know bitcoin was a bit hesitant on making the changes where litecoin came in and in implemented those changes and then later on bitcoin so if litecoin can you know make this you know it's confidential transactions and deliver these guys out it, it could be something that you know make people interested in litecoin again and it can have a really positive impact so that is why i am looking at litecoin guys and i'm not sure if litecoin will be able to deliver it but if litecoin can deliver it guys it can have a very positive impact on litecoin so a few other things i'm looking out for litecoin as i'm going to read some of some important articles so the fungibility of units of cryptocurrency is a major concern in light of increasing uh, increasing uh, uh, the fungibility of units of cryptocurrency has become a major concern in light of uh, the increasing success of blockchain analysis firms at, un at uncovering the identities um, of individuals uh, behind certain I suspect addresses blockchain analysis is important in, in scenarios where criminal activity is suspected and the findings are based on tracking the units used in alleged nefarious activities. In, in the case of exchange hack, for example, blockchain analysis might be engaged to identify who owns wallet addresses where stolen coins have been sent. However, while blockchain analysis report might be able to identify an individual behind criminal activities, the results uh, will result in branding of coins used in these transactions as tainted coins and that is not good because you know fungibility is being able to say you know whether it's fifty dollars or hundred dollars or whatever uh, currency it is it should be the same and if miners sell brand new bitcoins at a premium that is not a fungibility and that is an important aspect of money and if we want implementation of money in going into the future guys that can play a part i mean i'm not sure how the future will be but this is an important conversation and if you are into cryptocurrency decentralization and future internet money this might be something that you are interested in and that's why you know whether you like Litecoin or not where in my case i've got a vision and thoughts about it you know lee charlie lee whatever you think about it he's got some important time frame and what he's trying to do and from the progression on this coin it's not really been interesting that's why i'm not saying just buy randomly because it's cheap wait for a setup which i'll talk about and i'm you know predominantly a trader but it's important to look at the news because i am interested in it when i'm at home i like it, reading up about it mimble wimble is a pr privacy enhancing software which was developed by tom elvis but while mimble wimble is an innovative protocol it has its limitations too hard to do with mimble wimble it changes the blockchain too much and has to be a hard fork and we don't want to do that it needs to be a soft fork you need to understand what a hard fork and soft fork is lee further uh, revealed the privacy features would initially be to opt in this is similar to how privacy works in zcash whereas monero privacy is mandatory i'll talk about monero in one of my recent videos you might be this is one of the privacy coins that i do like this is a huge significant announcement i know this is old news but i'm sharing with you because it's going into the new year and i think there's going to be more news coming out with mimble wimble um, and privacy and fungibility for litecoin although the top 10 digital digital asset in its own right litecoin is widely considered as testing ground for upgrades to be added to bitcoin network litecoin is a very similar specification to bitcoin the old coin was designed by lee to be silver to bitcoin's gold for instance litecoin was successfully upgraded its network with segway it became apparent the software was stable enough to be integrated into bitcoin which is what i talked about Despite the widely held impression to the contrary, Bitcoin transactions are not currently confidential. Therefore, if Litecoin adds CT to its network and upgrade is and the upgrade is stable and does not reveal any underlying security problems, then Bitcoin may soon be on its way to achieving true transactional privacy. So what is your thoughts, guys? There are positives and negatives. I'm not sure whether fungibility is good or bad, but 
it what is your thoughts guys i think it, it is interesting and maybe we have two something you know, the like coin could be you know what is used for the more for transactions and bitcoin as a store of value i i personally prefer bitcoin as a store of value that is how i tend to see bitcoin especially i'm not sure longer term how i'll see it but that is how i look at like coin at the bitcoin at the moment what is fungibility and how does mimble Mim, mimble wimble make litecoin more fungible i want to read this bit as well because this is a quite an interesting bit the issue of fungibility is somewhat contentious as well in fact previously and fungibility and blockchain are closely related that is because fungible currency must have the ability to make all units of value indistinct i never seem to be able to pronounce that indistinguishable from one another except for the phase value fungibility would allow anyone to charge a hundred dollar bill for two fifty dollar bill without changing the value of money held bitcoin and like litecoin are not fungible because each coin or each fraction of a coin has public transaction record attached to them therefore if you hold a coin that is known to have been stolen from mt gox for instance vendors might refuse to take it so you can see the problem we've got uh, and uh, with litecoin being able to become a fungible uh, or cryptocurrency bitcoin or litecoin can be a use a uh, sound money with the issue that i'm just explaining to you so charlie lee it believes that sound currency should uh, should also be a bit more private this is a very contentious subject but charlie lee is taking an innovative stance and making change so that is why i do like what they are trying to do so what they're trying to do uh, is run parallel to the main a uh, blockchain result in block size increase without consensus rule changes on the main blockchain store their own unspent transaction outputs to keep track of the ledger become expendable in case of quantum computer advances that might threaten their integrity allow for chain state storage before they are deleted there's no such thing as 100 percent in any case there's no such thing as 100 percent perfection is only theoretical we live in a world of trades off trade-offs fung fungibility privacy all are also elusive when it comes to traditional cash just think about how many collectible nodes there are out there special edition bills lower serial number bank notes or even bank notes and coins from certain years are sometimes sometimes worth more than others that have the exact same value so can harry potter solve litecoin if at the if at the very least this implementation of mimble wimble seems promising it also cements the pioneering role that litecoin took on imp implementation of segwit this development might even silence all the critics that came out against litecoin myself you know if they can deliver it and it has a huge uh, improvement it might change my mind as well taking that harry potter spell into the realm of reality so to end the video on that guys i mean i think it's a really interesting concept i mean it's not the latest thing but i wanted to make a litecoin video going into the future and i wanted to share with you my thoughts on this litecoin segwit and mimble wimble and privacy and fungible and, and the and the and the topic of fungibility with cryptocurrency and bitcoin so this wasn't just a litecoin video i shared with you my thoughts on you know bitcoin and cryptocurrency going forward so what is your thoughts on this guys i'd love to hear your thoughts let's quickly do a technical analysis so literally guys litecoin has given back almost all its gains is dropped 75 percent from the top i said 73 using previous analysis i recommend you go watch that video if you type in i think 73 it should come up i think i said 73 percent litecoin halving sell the news event six months ago and um, if you had sold it you should be a happy boy anyways guys um what i'm looking for litecoin you know when you, something becomes that cheap i mean i'm not saying it can drop it can literally just drop like this so i'm not really looking to buy it at the moment if you are a longer term investor maybe you can buy some at 30 have your stop loss below see and then try and buy some at 20 and see if it moves up what i would like is a, some sort of a basing pattern like this you know where it moves up comes down something does like this and then breaks out a trend change that is what i would like then i definitely buy a lot of litecoin especially at this price or if it comes back below here you need to wait for a setup you know in my trading course i sell a trading setup which i used to buy you could check that out i'll leave the links below if not guys you need to wait for something you can't just buy something and wait for it to go up if you really believe in litecoin and you're a fundamental trader which i'm not the way we trade in our group we are technical analysis trader we 
we work together to get good analysis and trade make good sound trades we don't just buy and sell because we want to buy and sell but if you are a fundamental an analyst trader and you make money in cryptocurrency using fundamental analysis then and you believe in Litecoin what they're trying to do you know that developing team you can buy it now have your stop loss at zero and sell order at thousand that's up to you that's not what my suggestion is I'm not a financial advisor I'm just sharing with you what I've used to make money and I've made live calls I've made a trading course where I've shared trade signals you can all check it out you don't have to believe me check out for yourselves some of the analysis and trade signals i've provided before i took the positions but the way i'll be looking at it is like i said i'll wait for a trend change on the daily or the weekly time frame then i'd be looking to take some trades uh, for longer term trades and shorter term trades there's always opportunities available you can use my pullback trade strategy to buy so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it comment below your price predictions for litecoin guys do you think it can go to those crazy numbers or do you think it will carry on going down and definitely comment on fungibility or not what you what are your thoughts so thank you very much for watching this video guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go litecoin